Sutra, moreover, universally expansive in the future in Jambudvipa, when the wives of Shachiyas, Brahmans, young elders, and upasakas of the flavor, uh, various families and clans are about to give birth to sons or daughters. The family members should recite this inconceivable sutra and the bodhisattva's name in full 10,000 times during the seven days before the birth of those children. If those infants, whether male or female, had been destined to undergo a terrible retribution for things done in past lives, they will be liberated from those retributions. They will be peaceful, happy, easily raised, and will have long lives, longer lives. If those children were due to receive blessings, then their peace and happiness will increase as will their lifespans. Commentary. Moreover, universally expansive, Shakyamuni Buddha again explained to universally expansive that in the future, in Jambudvipa, beings in northern Uta Rakuru of the four great continents are born under trees. Labor is very easy and not at all painful. Babies come right out as if chickens laying eggs. Females giving birth do not undergo so much pain like those do in southern Jambudvipa. Very few births occur in eastern Purva Videha and western Apara Godaniya because beings there have very little sexual desire, so they do not have so many children. Only beings in southern Jambudvipa believe the more births there are, the better. Women endure tremendous pain in labor. So now we only talk about southern Jambudvipa. When the wives of India's nobility, the Chachiyas, the noble clan of purity, who are the Brahmans, the wealthy elders, and Upasakas, the elders and Upasakas have money but not official posts, while the Brahmans and the Shachiyas enjoy nobility, nobility and affluence too. When the wives of all the various families and clans of different nationalities or race are about to give birth to sons or daughters, some difficult labor situations include newborns in a horizontal or reverse position. Some newborns have difficulty coming out because it sticks out one of its legs first. Some difficult labor situations involve the baby dragging out the mother's intestines. No matter how difficult the labor, though, the family members should recite this inconceivable sutra of Earth Star and the Bodhisattva Earth Star's name a full 10,000 times during the seven days before the birth of those children. If those infants, whether male or female, had been destined to undergo a terrible retribution for things done in past lives, they will be liberated from those retributions. They will be peaceful, happy, easily raised, and will have longer lives. If those children did not commit any offenses and were due to receive blessings, then their peace and happiness will increase as will their lifespans. There is nothing certain about people's suffering and bliss. There is nothing certain about people's lifespans either. Fortune tellers may tell some people that they will live until 30, but they reach 40 and are still alive. What is the reason for that? The length of people's lives is flexible rather than rigid. Do good deeds and you will extend your life. Do bad deeds and your lifespan will decrease. Nothing is fixed. For instance, one baby is meant to endure a lot of suffering due to his offense karma, but recite the Earth Star Sutra of the name of Earth Star Bodhisattva for him, and his pain disappears. He will be happy, easy to raise, and live longer. You may deduce from this that nothing in life is fixed. It merely depends on how you act. Sutra. 
Moreover, universally spans C from the 1st, 8th, 14th, 15th, 18th, 23rd, 24th, 28th, 29th, and 13th days of the lunar month. The offenses of things are tabulated and then gravity assessed. Every single moment and st or storing of thought on the part of beings of Yambhuvipa creates karma, karma and offenses. How much more is that the case when they blatantly indulge in killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, false speech and hundreds of thousands of other kinds of offenses? If they are able to recite this sutra once on those ten vegetarian days before the images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, or worthy ones and sages, then no disasters will occur within a radius of 100 Yuranas around them. The relatives of those who reside, both old and young, now and in the future, will be apart from the evil paths throughout hundreds of thousands of years. If they can recite this sutra once on each of those ten vegetarian days, then there will be no accidents or illnesses in the family and they will have food and clothing in abundance. Commentary Moreover, universally expansive on the 1st, 8th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 18th, 23rd, 24th, 28th, 29th and 38th days of the lunar month, the offenses of all beings are tabulated and their gravity assessed. Living beings are observed and evaluated for their karma during these 10 days. All the ghosts and spirits gather to check to see how much offense someone has accrued. These 10 days are when beings are being investigated. Their offenses are then collected, counted and judged to see how heavy or slight each individual's offenses are. Sentences are given accordingly. Every single moment, every every single movement or stirring of thought on the part of beings of Southern Jambuvipa creates karma and offenses. Every thought that occurs during movement or stillness is offense karma. How much the more is that the case when the they blatantly indulge in killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, false speech, and hundreds of thousands of other kinds of offenses. Even if you do not kill or hurt others, you create offense karma just by entertaining a thought, not to mention wantonly indulging in killing and hurting living beings. Or they do improper things such as stealing and engaging in sexual misconduct. Promiscuity is not a problem in the West, but Buddhist sutras already make it very clear that all beings habitually commit grave offenses in this area. Among all evils, sexual misconduct is the most egregious of the brag. We are only mentioning some offenses in brief. Were we to talk about offenses in more detail, we can list millions upon millions of them. If they are able to recite this sutra once on those ten vegetarian days, they eat pure foods rather than meat or pungent foods. They recite the Earth Star Sutra before the images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, or worthy ones and sages. Then no disasters will occur within a radius of 100 Yuranas around them. A large Yurana is 80 Li, a medium Yurana is 60 Li, and a small Yurana is 40 Li. The relationships of those who reside, both old and young, now and in the future, will be apart from the retribution of being in the evil paths of hell beings, hungry ghosts, animals, and asuras throughout hundreds of thousands of years. If they can recite this Earth Star Sutra once on each of these ten vegetarian days, ten, then there will be no accidents or illnesses in their family, and they will have food and clothing in abundance. Sutra, universally expansive, you should know of the beneficial deeds 
done by Earth Star Bodhisattva Sattva as he makes use of his indescribably millions of billions of great awesome spiritual powers. The beings of Jambu Fipa have strong affinities with this Bodhisattva. If they hear the Bodhisattva's name, see the Bodhisattva's image, or hear but a few words, a verse, or a sentence of this sutra, they will enjoy particularly wonderful peace and happiness in this present life. Through thousands of millions of future lives, they will always be handsome or beautiful, and they will be born on into honorable and wealthy families. Having heard the Buddha first come on, praise Earth Star Bodhisattva in that way, Universally expansive Bodhisattva knelt, placed his palms together, and again addressed the Buddha, saying, World honored one, I have long known that this Bodhisattva has both inconceivable spiritual powers and mighty vows. I have questioned the first come one so that beings in the future could know of these benefits. I now receive your answer most respectfully. World honored one, what should the title of this sutra be and how should we propagate it? The Buddha said to the universally expansive, this sutra has three titles. The first is the past vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva. It is also called Earth Star's Past Conduct and also Sutra of the Power of Earth Star's Past Vows. Because this Bodhisattva repeatedly makes such great and mighty vows throughout long ends to benefit beings, you should all propagate this sutra in accordance with them. After universally expansive had heard that, he placed his palms together respectfully, made obeisance, and withdrew. Commentary Universally expansive, you should know of the beneficial deeds done by Earth Star Bodhisattva as he makes use of his indescribably millions of billions of great awesome spiritual powers. Therefore, Universally expansive, you should know that Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva has the various ineffable awesome spiritual powers, numbering millions and billions like those described above. The beings of Jambu Fipa have strong affinities with this Bodhisattva, the Buddha says. You see, as Chinese Buddhism comes to the United States, Earth Star Bodhisattva came too. He is with a lot of lay people right now and helping you to cultivate. This indicates tremendous affinities, not merely for the present, but strong affinities developed since many lives and many eons ago. If they hear the Bodhisattva Earth Star's name, see the Bodhisattva Earth Star's image, or hear but a few words, listening even to these words, Earth Star Sutra, eliminates three types of delusions. What are the three types of delusions? They are crude delusions, subtle delusions, and delusions like dust moods. They are also delusions in view, delusions in thought, and ignorance. Delusions in view are crude delusions. Delusion in thought are subtle delusions. And ignorance is delusion like dust moods. You can shatter these three types of delusions Eliminating your karmic obstructions, obstructions due to retribution and obstructions in the form of afflictions. You say, I have been listening to the sutra for so long, but I still have not eliminated any obstruction. I still have so many afflictions and a huge temple like I had before. I started listening to the sutras. With regard to Obstructions in retribution, you say. I feel that I have not eliminated any obstructions. Your feeling indicates that you wish to eliminate them. If you did not want to, you would not even realize that you have karmic obstructions. Obstructions due to retribution and obstructions in the form of afflictions. Originally, you felt that your afflictions were like your treasure and didn't want to toss them. Now you feel that you have not lost them, which means you are starting to be free of afflictions. Consequently, you can eliminate 
your three obstructions, realize your three wisdoms, the wisdom of various dramas, all wisdom and all modes of wisdom. You can certify to the three virtues too, which are the virtue of the drama body, the virtue of Brahma, and the virtue of liberation.